just a click on your computer. The convenience of Amazon is at the core of its success. Also central to the company, a clear stated policy that its employees do not have zero hours contracts. But those who pack these boxes tell us otherwise. Amazon last year recruited 20,000 seasonal workers to fill its equally vast warehouses. Consumer demand satisfied, but not some temporary staff, like one student taken on here at the Doncaster depot. One at 1am 1 saying you're cancelled, one at 3am saying you're back in, one at 5am saying you're cancelled, and then you turn up and get turned away. Olivia's shifts were cancelled via text repeatedly by both the DECO and PMP recruitment, the agencies who hired her often once she'd paid to get the bus to work at 5am. I felt frustrated, exploited, kind of just expendable to the company. You know, there was no apology, there was nothing. Even when I rang up and said, why have you cancelled me again? The answer was, oh, well, we just randomly pick names. and We just randomly pick people to not come into work that day. In the run-up to last Christmas, ITV News, the Bureau of Investigative Journalism and The Mirror analysed nearly 9,000 adverts for Amazon warehouse jobs, all of which were posted through just two agencies, PMP Recruitment and ADECO, and that made up more than half of all the warehouse roles on the UK's biggest recruiting website. In the ads with PMP, 87% suggested that the positions could be full-time, while with ADECO, it was every single ad, 100% of them. Amazon is often one of the few jobs in town. In Scotland, 92% of all warehouse positions we found were with the online giant. Nathan was offered a two-month contract through a deco. How would you describe your treatment by Amazon in the run-up to Christmas? You sold this offer of you know full-time or part-time hours, kind of whatever works best for you, uh, and then very quickly on you kind of realise it's kind of no, it's a zero-hours contract. Um, and the first couple of weeks that I was there, I went from five shifts a week to zero. Amazon say that all staff, including agency workers such as yourself, will receive no fewer than 20 hours a week. That is not what you found. No, 100%. Not true at all. I wouldn't say anyone, apart from the actual Amazon staff rather than agency staff, got over 20 hours a week consistently. Olivia was still owed £400 two months after leaving. Other seasonal workers similarly talk of missing wages one recalling how it was humiliating to have to sit and beg for my money. Amazon told us that our agency terms are explicit that we do not engage individuals on zero-hour contracts. Associates on temporary assignments employed by agencies work a range of shifts. ADECO claims that the welfare of our associates is an absolute priority for us and we work closely with clients to ensure that they have the best possible experience. Associates are paid fairly. PMP Recruitment adds that our colleagues are not employed under zero-hour contracts and are provided with a guaranteed minimum number of shifts per week. But questions tonight still hang over such working practices. It's really disgraceful. When you look at the profits that Amazon have made this year, it's terrible that they're treating their workforce that way and they're not even giving them secure work. They don't know when they're going to get paid. That's not a decent employer. They need to step up. Earlier this week, the company's founder, Jeff Bezos, became the world's richest person again. Uncomfortable timing, given the guarantee for some of their workers seems less reliable than Amazon's delivery for its customers. Richard Palo, News at 10.